Hey guys, Veteran Trainer John here, back again with another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing off the Awakenings for the Trunks and Goten unit. So I've got them both rainbowed, uh, say 10. I don't have any equipment on them, and they're all Link level 1. So, uh, not going to be too crazy. So this is just, um, they are rainbowed, but they're old units. So you've probably pulled them enough times to have them rainbowed. And this is the Hybrid Saiyan team I'm going to be running. I'm going to be running through uh, Super Battle Road. I'm not going to bring any items. Uh, I did a no item run. I think it was actually my last video I uploaded. But uh, yeah, uh, this will be an easy, easy no item run. So what we're going to do, um, well maybe, maybe it'll be an easy no item run. It kind of depends on how well these units do. So we're going to be, I'll go ahead and target you again, just in case. God, I don't think I'll be able to get a super attack off, but he does have damage reduction built in. So just in case you don't know what this unit does after awakening, the um, super attack effect is nothing great. He just raises allies attack. So he gets 120% attack and then he reduces damage received by 40%. And then he gets an additional 70% attack and 30% damage reduction when performing a super attack. If there's an ally whose name is Trunks or Krillin attacking in the same turn. So, yeah, he's not going to get that, but he'll still have 40% damage reduction, which I think will be enough to uh, get through this rotation without needing an item. So, um, yeah, so uh, I know I haven't really been uploading as constantly as I should be um, but you know things are a little crazy with everything going on so that's my excuse <laughs> I didn't say it's a good one it's just my excuse okay all right good he's getting an additional so a 1 million attack stat that's uh, basically just with fierce battle probably active and not much else so okay <sighs> this is not the kind of rotation we need right now um Alright, I will go ahead and rotate you off. I don't think there are any tech units. There's not. So what we're going to do, we're just going to... I'm going to go after Bardock. Why not? Um, and then what we'll do is we'll actually, we're going to seal Borgos here. Because I do not want to tank a super attack with him. Uh, with the go tanks, because his defense isn't built up yet. I'm fairly confident we're gonna survive this turn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he got enough orbs to <laughs> to tank. I really haven't used this unit a lot since his EZA, and uh, I probably should. Uh, he's pretty good. He's he's better than the support unit at EZA for sure. Okay, so we did take down Bardock. We're gonna seal up this guy, so we don't have to worry about him super attacking the tanks. If we could get an additional, no. Okay, oh, that was a lot. 80k. Yeah, so the issue with this, with that Go Tanks unit, is that he doesn't get his defense until he supers like a few times. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, Alright. Sweet. Oh, he's in the seventh slot. Crud. Okay. I need. I need him to. Need him to. Sorry, I'm just I'm thinking. Thinking to myself, not really loud. Um, I don't think the orbs are gonna drop the way I want them to, no matter what I do. Yeah, yeah that was bad. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> Here's another okay turn. It's gonna not gonna be great, but the two ultimate Gohans are such <clears throat> great defensive tanks. Like they can be pretty much on the same rotation, and I don't have to worry about either of them, which is pretty good to know. Um, even with super attacks coming our way, like tanking them fine, no worries. Um, yeah, so that was that was a bit of damage. So I'm definitely gonna keep you on rotation. Oh, come on, that was that was crap. <laughs> that was crap. Shoot. Um, okay, I I should probably do this then. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Go like this. This should. Oh, did I mess? Nope. Okay. I should 
put us in a good enough spot to we'll just keep attacking you and we'll, not, we'll go for Fasha this one yeah I haven't gotten these rotations set right just yet but we're getting close uh, this will increase his defense again um, it's not a huge buff I think it's only 30% but it is what it is 1.2 million. When I finally get them linked up, I should have looked to see what slot that Trunks was in. That was my bad. So this video is going to be a little bit longer uh, just because of that. Uh, that and we're not exactly flying through this event, unfortunately. Okay, cool. Um, um what I'll do is I will transform the friend. Just because you don't get to do this very. I'm sorry. My hair. Put my hair back down. How do you guys like the blue? I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't like it, just let me know. I'll put the light back on, but I have to do some tweaking. I need a little ring light right here. That's what I need. I'm thinking about getting one. Just a little ring light so I pop a little bit more. But, yeah, you know, whatever. Some vanity stuff I'm going on about. No, we'll actually go after you because you're almost defeated. So we'll just we'll go after Fasha. And I will target you. I should have done the active skill there, but it's not. It's not a huge deal. I'm not not too worried about it. 8k. It's perfect. Three million. And they, they've barely gotten any. This one might not have had any super attacks. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Exciting. I just wish this first stage wasn't so intense. But yeah, so another no item run in the bag for this team. It's pretty it's pretty cool. How these events have aged to the point where you could just kind of throw a team together and no item run it easily. All right, finally, here's what we've been waiting for. We'll go ahead and let the trunks attack first. Go ahead and get all these. Go ahead and get that. Put, puts us in a pretty good spot and we'll 2.4 million from the trunks. That's pretty awesome And then 2.5 million from the Goten I mean that they're that's pretty good considering they're so defensive as well So perfect I'm gonna be going right into the next stage exactly where we want and uh, Yeah, so I Think from here on out. I'm gonna start cutting the clips together so you guys don't have to watch everything. So next thing you'll see will be the uh, trunks and go to rotation. Okay, and we're back. So we've got let me just put it, we've got uh, a good rotation, pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll put the the go in first, and what we'll do is we'll actually we'll finish off the Nappa. Then we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go right for the Raditz and this this puts us in a pretty good rotation so sweet <laughs> sweet I just I just got another color so 2.39 so I think he might have had an extra link active I'm not quite sure what it was I'll have to look I thought maybe they fully activated their own um, passive or not passive their links all right sweet Okay, 38k from a super on super battle road. That's that's pretty damn good. And we're gonna heal all of that up, and we get a stun. Nice. Okay, we're all right, and we are back. Okay, so let's just look at their so Kamehameha. So yeah, they do have their full. They do activate all their links. Really, I should have probably leveled these guys up, huh? Dang, it's a missed opportunity there. Um, what, uh, what do I do? I don't want to... I guess we will. <sighs> that stinks. It's not really going to be his best attack stat, but that's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. No big deal. No big deal. So, uh, I'm expecting similar. Yeah, 2.39. They're pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I feel like at link level 10, we might get them to like 2.2.8. Oh, so that's what it was, right? They both raise allies attacks on super attacks, so 2.7. That's pretty good okay 68k type advantage super battle road that's not terrible at all and this might finish it off yep all right 
flying into the last one. No items used. This has been easy. Well, I'll see you guys at the next rotation. All right, we are back. So actually what we're going to do, we're going to let Goten tank all of these hits here. So Broly is stunned. We did get the B-Pan stun last time. So we're actually just going to target um, Paragus. That's right. That's his name. And we're going to go to Broly with this one. And uh, we should be kind of seeing the same thing. I just want to see how much damage. So 45k. Uh, with 70% damage reduction, you'd think he'd do a little bit better. But after super, okay. So after super, he does much better. So um, I think that's right. He does get the extra damage reduction on super. Did for, slip my mind. Slip my mind. But uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. We are just flying through this. Okay, cool. All right. Um, shoot. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna let Trunks tank all these. I am gonna use B Pan's active skill. So, um, we'll see what their absolute best attack sets are. So what I'm gonna do, I will target Broly with you, and then I'm gonna target Paragus with the Goten and the B Pan. So, yep, let's, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's kind of see what that gives them, how well they tank. So 26k, makes sense. He's about, he's taking half as much as the Goten did. 3.3 million, I think. Well, looks like my audio, my microphone stopped recording halfway through. So, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So what you guys are going to hear is not the actual thing I'm saying, but you know, I'm going to put this over it. But anyways, thank you guys, have a great day, hope you enjoyed the video, and bye bye.